right, time to wake up. 33 degrees out there. Burr, JC. It ain't that cold. Feels like it summertime is. out there. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM on a Thursday morning. Not really a special edition, but you might call it that. Join me today, the Three Stooges. Yep, they're back in action. <laughs> Tom, shut up, and Mr. Cruz himself, the Mustang Man, Joseph Scott in here. We're going to talk about cruising today. Be the first full episode of cruising. He's going to tell us about what's happening around the Tennessee Valley and just about everything. And also, let's not forget him. He's not really one of the Stooges. He's the main Stooge. Here he is right now, Frank oh. Scrimpture. Oh, I mean, Zach. That's right. I was talking about Zach, yeah. Yeah. Bama Zach in here this morning. Somebody please send him an email if you got a dog that's sick, a cousin that's ailing, whatever. Let Zach know. If, or if not, I'll just meet my, all my family. Our family. special <laughs> birthday celebration, and you're not related to Zach, get it in. Zach will even show the picture of him. Get that in, we'll go from there. Join us later this morning. Mr. Mike Curtis will be joining us. Tom said he knows Mike from years ago. Mike is running as a Democrat for the state Senate seat that now covers Limestone County in place of Tammy Irons. So he's got some, you know, tough road to hold here, but probably Great when guy. he's a Democrat, we'll talk to him when he shows up later here in the second half of the program. A lot of things going on yesterday, too. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Yeah, we're going to go cruising in the second half hour. Joseph's going to join us this morning. I guess we're just trying to get as many Lindsay Laners on as we possibly can. That's all right. And don't forget, you can still sign up for that marriage retreat going on this weekend. Thank goodness, I think I dodged that. But uh, <laughs> hometown market brings you this portion of the program. They sponsor the kitchen. Well, Gloria cooked breakfast here this morning, and she burned nothing, so we're good to go. Hey. All right, let's check in with the weather a little she bit today. But spring is on the way. I predict Woo. summertime, Frank. It'll be 90 before you know it. Abby's actually been the one burning things here in the studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just ratted uh -oh. her out. Okay. <laughs> That's right. All right, it is 33 degrees out there, but things are going to warm up. Hope many of you got to enjoy some time outside yesterday. High temperatures today around 55. We could see some showers in the afternoon hours and then mostly lingering at night. Tonight, some rain. Then tomorrow, 62 for that high. Look at that low of 38. Partly cloudy skies, and it looks like no rain. There's like a 10, 20 percent chance of rain almost daily, but the biggest part, part of rain after today will be on Sunday with high temperatures around 59. Good morning to Frankie, too. Who? Frankie. Oh, oh. Let me morning. start y'all out with some bad news this morning. Why? Front page of the news courier. Athens utilities to raise rates six percent. Oh, why not? I can't, even get, I can't even get the last two months oh, utility no. bill paid off. No. <laughs> Every time you turn around, they're wanting to raise something. Mm. Say, six per, ain't that quite a bit? Six percent? That's a pretty good jump. Oh, you got to make up for After dealing with sticker shock from the last month's utility bills, Athens Utility Code, we'll see their bills go up six percent. Uh, TVA is raising its monthly fuel cost adjustment. Huh. Hmm. If it decreases, the utility something. will decrease at the same time. Yeah. Whatever. I need a loan. Yeah, I do too. Have you ever seen them when the price goes up? Have you ever seen it come back down? No. It doesn't. I've never seen it do any of that. Oh, boy. Yeah. Have you, Tom? I have not. Mm. It won't do I'm that. Not. Zach, what you got this morning? The 10 second rule will, is dead. It's the saving rule. The saving rule, and everybody's all. I, we beat Coach Saban at his own game. You know, Steve Spurrier, Gus Malzahn. You know, fellas, just enjoy it while you can because you're going down this season anyway. It don't matter. <laughs> Would you be quiet second, over there. One second. <laughs> LSU, Les Miles, all y'all got. <laughs> Shut up. It's going to happen. Uh, yeah, Speaking of going down, Auburn basketball. They right up there with Bama. They hey, went down last night, too. Alabama beat Auburn in baseball. Roll Ooh. time. Hmm. Whoopee. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and I think I got a picture, Gloria. Uh, you talking about pets? Yes, my, you do. My, my friend Cassie, her dog, PJ. So, hey, PJ. The one there I've been mentioning. Go. What's wrong with him? I, what he's I feeling going better now. He had some... He had some issues, but he's feeling better now. All right, so now we're doing dog surgeries up here. Do sponsored by Dr. Pittman next door, so y'all go by and visit him. Hey, I got to tell you, yesterday, Tom, I missed you. I was filling in for us. They were kind of shocked I showed up. They had the ribbon cutting yesterday at the Tanner Medical Clinic. Mm -hmm. yes. Got to give them shout-outs. I got lunch to go. Uh, there it is right there, Jennifer and a whole bunch down there. Got to give a shout-out to Betsy at the hospital, too, down that way. Everybody was down there. And while I was there, somebody slipped me a note, Tom. Mm-hmm. They, where did they put it? They, they were about to put it on the truck. Said, "Come by and see me at the soup kitchen." I didn't know we. Had I didn't even know we had a soup kitchen. Did you? No. Where's that at? Here it is, right there, right next door to the Tanner, Tanner Medical Clinic. Mm -hmm. There's a church in there too. Matter of fact, they give they do free haircuts, which they tried to give me one. 
Free <laughs> meals to do that to you. Free meals, haircuts, and clothes Monday through Friday, nine to five. It's called Mighty Warrior Church on Swannard Boulevard in Tanner. Hmm. Located between Tanner Clinic and the Food Bank, which is on the end. Talked to those folks down there yesterday. There's the letter right there. Went yeah. by the yeah, so giving away free haircuts. Yep. And they you said need you need one right now. As Dale Strickland <laughs> said the other day, immediately. Immediately. <laughs> immediately in the chili challenge. Cheers, Joseph, buddy. what you gonna be talking about today? Well, we got some uh, some hot topics. Yeah. Um, Guess you've heard about the sinkhole at the Corvette Museum. Oh yeah, everybody in America's heard about that. Oh yeah, that. well we'll what be talking about that a little yeah. bit. Hey, maybe this Mike's got a classic car. We'll talk to him when he gets here. <laughs> yeah. He well, I used to have one. I sold it. Uh, yes. All right, let's talk about that big story yesterday. Did you hear about that the girl, tragic. the lady trying to kill her kids? Mm-hmm. Horrible. Dayton. Unbelievable. A 33-year-old pregnant woman runs into South Carolina into the ocean with the kids in the car. Three children. Now they were what minutes away from drowning. Oh, yeah. Thank and goodness those guys were there to get them out. That. It was, no. it was just chilling, just, just giving chills to watch just, What was she at? She was in, what was she at? Was what was odd, coming? though, the family or someone had called didn't the police saying that she was having some mental is issues. No kidding. And I'm thinking, why not? Why get the kids away well, from Well, didn't that her? happen in South Carolina several years ago where the woman just drove off Susan into the river? Smith. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and drowned her kids. Was that South Carolina, yeah. too? I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking it was. So. It was, yes. Yes, yeah, so maybe there's something going on over wow, there. Wow, that's sad. Hmm. Well, then they arrested, they arrested another mother who uh, or noticed her son had complained at school, had all these, couldn't sit down. She was using a taser on her kids to uh, what? discipline them. I sound That's like crazy. A taser. Where'd she get that at? Don't you wish you'd have used one? Now, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, our subject was about discipline, how we used to get our keys taken away from us, you know, and then I said, in Frank's case, they took away the range to the buggy, you know, <laughs> but uh, we're talking about discipline your kids yesterday because that woman was suing her parents. Mm -hmm. Like Miranda gets ready to sue you, she gets 18. She's 18. I spanked mentally. the mess out of her. I didn't have no problem with her. She, she knew. <laughs> I didn't spoil well, you've been keeping up with that girl suing her parents because she went to college and she wants almost $700 a week in child support. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Uh, let my daughter sue me. <laughs> I think anyway, the wind up throwing it using out. a taser now, looking at my kids, I should have used more than a taser oh, on them. Stop. That's what I said. Uh, mother three charged a child using a stun gun to chump punish her children. Uh, so that's why he couldn't sit down. He was sore. He yeah, he couldn't sit down. So, hey, let me update y'all on a sad story. They finally that's come to awful. some conclusion. It was three years ago in April that that Holly Bobo was kidnapped and gone missing. They now have arrested this idiot on the right there for killing her. And ki kidnapping her and killing her. They've not found her body yet, but it's been three years since she was last seen. Can they do anything with that body? Years, huh? huh? Can they do anything well, with that body? Well, evidently, they're doing it. Apparently, they got All right, let's go over to the sports zone right now. We'll call it, <laughs> right, we'll call it that for lack of a better word now. Let's just call it... Uh, Whatever. Zach, what's up? Let's give him the green light. <laughs> green light. <laughs> Hey, uh, spring practice starts Alabama and Auburn next week. So if you not playing during the season, the most, next most exciting thing, spring practice. And they said Coach Saban and Coach Kiffin are not going to be in any hurry to name a starting quarterback, which I, everybody fully believes our starting quarterback is probably in Mobile right now, finishing up his studies at Florida State, where he can be at Alabama in the fall. So, so where we can beat Auburn there, Brad. Well, we should well, win. We should win. Eight. Eight. We'll, 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 we'll come off our losing streak. We'll we'll beat somebody in eight-day game. Hey, what about the controversy with Gus Malzahn and Nick Marshall? You heard about that, didn't you? No, what happened? Uh, Nick Marshall wanted. Let's to go start see, a rumor. Nick Marshall wanted to go see George Whitfield, who you know coached uh, Johnny Manziel, and uh, Coach Malzahn basically said, "We got Damian Craig and Brett Lashley, Brett Lashley down here." Said, "You don't need to go to George Whitfield." So they basically told him. You don't need to go down there. We'll let you let these guys coach you. So that's kind of yeah. I think that's my, hearsay. Well, that's, 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 that's hearsay. Uh, that's there's hearsay. a little controversy in Auburn right now. <laughs> oh what are you my trying gosh. to do? Start some trouble? He's trying. I'm trying to. <laughs> hey. I'm getting bad, man. Uh, this, <laughs> I guess this wouldn't be a good time to mention I'm an Auburn fan, would it? Hey, <laughs> now we got to. <laughs> You didn't tell me that beforehand. Hey, we uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Brad's got him a buddy now. You are oh, not fan. I'm not diehard though. Well, let me tell you, this would be maybe a short appearance you're going to be. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, all I know.
know is LSU is the only one that's undefeated in 2014 right now. Out of well, Alabama. Oh Alabama's 0-1, Auburn's 0-1. Shut up. <laughs> Just saying. Shut Just up. saying what's going to happen. It's okay, Joseph. All right. Yeah. All right. You know, they started. Tom, have you ever gone now, been a man that lives on the beach a lot. Have you ever gone, you know, it's scrooper season now. Down there. Grouper. 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 Oh, I thought you said Grouper. <laughs> no, Grouper. What the heck is a Grouper? And, and it says here, here's a father son went 75 miles out. And Holy crap. Wow. They caught a. That's a heck of a fish. They caught a few fishes a while few. they were out there. It looks there. like that guy on that commercial catching that big old catfish. Is that, is that real? Is that yeah, real? Yeah, that's show? real. Well, I got another one bigger than that. It doesn't look real. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to tell you. I There's the whole thing big. right there. Wow. Now, that's a. Now that's like Frank. The other day, Frank was down on Swan Creek and he threw out his worm, and that's about what he came up with. <laughs> hey, Frank can fish. Yeah. Can't you, Frank? What about that noodling? Is that what you're talking about? Where they stick their? Now we, we've there? seen oh. that. Now there ain't but one man I know of can do that. Tony Grigsby. Tony Grigsby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a he's a noodling. What did he call it? He didn't call it noodling, no, did he, Frank? Grabbling. Grabbling. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you Grabbling. do it. Coming up in April, you'd like to try that? I don't know about that. Uh -huh. We can. If you want to try it, you know how you do it. You got to get out of the boat. Stick your hand up under on the side of that uh, cave. cave, and then you got to snake that fish out. I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> you know Tony Grigsby? I don't know him. You better, you lucky. Is he a rascal? <laughs> Is he a what? A rascal. Oh, Tony, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he, he would definitely, if you want to call him that, that's exactly okay. what you can call it. Yeah, he's he's been called a lot worse, okay. let me tell you. What's that. his nickname? I forgot. Buck Damn Wild. Yeah, Buck. Yeah. Buck. What's out? Zach, give me something else. Then I got a story for you, Zach, that I'm going to put you on assignment on. Put me on assignment. Yeah, I'm gonna, after this break, I'm going to tell you what it is. Oh, Blake Bortles, you know, uh, from Central Florida, he, he got on all these other quarterbacks, Johnny Football, and all I'm saying he didn't understand why nobody throws at the combine. You know, I, I don't understand. People go to these combines trying to get impressed NFL scouts, and they get there, they don't want to do nothing. Teddy Bridgewater didn't do a thing, but they said he'll be the first quarterback maybe taken in the draft. So if you're going to go, perform. You know, mm -hmm. don't just sit there. All right. Let's mm -hmm. talk about, before Mike walks in, who is a Democrat, uh, he's not down there right now. Let's talk about Alvin Holmes. What a racist. What's his district you. mobile? I don't know, but they need to just, there's somebody. What do you say? 99% of white people would abort a baby if their daughter was impregnated by a black guy. He's a racist. Wow. He is beyond a racist. He's a racist. If, if this ain't the first stupid comment he's made about being no. a white person. Nope. Hmm. And how he gets away, and he never he shows up to vote it. either, does he? But the, but the thing about it is, at least he's he's not afraid. I mean, he's at least he's honest about it. it. People know. I mean, he, he people he know. He Obama just lie about it, say. and then you know. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, it's no. Uh, let me remind you that the words spoken by <laughs> shut up on this program not necessarily those of management, <laughs> station ownership. <laughs> so anything he says should not be used against us in any shape, uh, fashion, <laughs> or form. Due to my insurance man and part-time <laughs> lawyer, lawyer on the side, Tom McAllister. Oh, Tom's got you covered. Yeah, Tom got you covered. That's why I don't say nothing that's a, I mean, I don't say nothing that's going to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't say nothing that's not the We're truth. the world. I mean, the guys are racist. It's all oh, no, ain't, ain't no doubt about it. He is. Let me take a break. We'll uh, come back and resume this great conversation in just a lot. Before I go, let me talk about one other thing. Yes. Yesterday, Huntsville Times came out. You know, it comes out like every three days now. New faces of sex crime. These are all teachers in Alabama. Wow. Really? That's yeah, sad. No guys, all women. <clears throat> now, when I was in school, where was all these people? <laughs> <laughs> they, the teachers didn't they, were, like they weren't even day. born yet when you yeah. were in school. Yeah, I know. Well, look at it. All usually married. Got a yes. couple of kids. Teachers are wild. And then having well, teachers. I married a teacher. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> 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 oh, I'm going to kill you. Uh, you don't get you were married, married to a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I was married to a teacher, right? Yeah. We'll uh, we're going to take our first break on a Thursday morning edition. Cooper coming, coming up, cruising in the second half hour. Joseph will stay with us for a little while. I got some anyway. other things to talk about. And Zach is going on assignment uh -oh. since it's now legal. <laughs> All right? Uh -oh. We'll take a break. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> oh, please, don't wait a minute.